What's good is Felly, this is the kickback show. Woo! Yo, Felly! Y'all them so they're ready. Yo! Where you going? Conscience. And she got that white and gold. Got it. She do what she want, yeah. She do what she want. Shorty got white and gold. She do what she want, yeah. From the night to the Brand new banger. Weekly. Let's kick it. Kick that show. Exclusive hot shit. Hot shit. Dash radio. Hey, and we back. It's your boy, the DJ TJ, and we at Dash you Radio. Are Drop we down. got foodie videos while you could be same with gr- fucking you too. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that yeah. shit too. Still love them. Anyway, it's your boy, the DJ TJ, live from Dash Radio. It's the Kickback Show, and we got special guest Felly in the building. Hello, up, Felly. How y'all doing? We're doing good. So, I mean, you brought a uh, friend with you too today. Yeah, this is my homie Saul. Saul, what's good? What it is? What's good? What's popping? Here. Saul was. Saul beautiful. Saul wonderful. Saul, Saul good. millions. Saul in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> Saul's you already fire, know, bro. man. So we were just talking, Felly. Um, you said you're you're living in New York now. Yes, sir. Uh, I've been living in Soho area this past summer. What's that like? Um, it's chill, bro. You get like crazy vibes. You, I like it because where I'm from, you can like really get caught in your head a lot because it's like small and boring. But uh, in New York, you see all these people and you like live their lives too, so it kind of spreads out your what you're thinking about. Yeah, that's so you can't up. really get caught in your own shit because everybody else is in the same shit. We're all in know? some shit, right? Yeah. And you are originally from Connecticut. Yeah. From what I understand, what was it like growing up there? Um, so it was what like, part of Connecticut? Trumbull. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you know any of I, I've never. I've we are actually, super I far away from there, bro. Maybe once. Yeah. Um, Trump was like a small town, like kind of suburban. suburban, And uh, it was cool, man. The kids were nice. Some of them. Um, high school was like boring and shit. People didn't like that I rapped uh, per what, usual. What, rap was not popular at your high school? No, no, no. You can't be. No. I mean, I deserve most of the shit that people would talk to me early on. Okay. Like. Why is that? Because I was wearing, like, green pants and just being whack. Just when you're young, you're whack. You What's had, like, wrong with green pants? You got, like, braces. I had, like, the clear. Green pants are hard. I had the clear. Rapping with green <laughs> pants and braces in high school. This sounds lit. Yeah, I had the clear braces. That shit was whack. Like, oh, shit. Eat, like, chocolate and shit, get stuck in it. All I was whack. <laughs> um, but I was trying to rap and stuff, and, and people didn't like that because I'm young and white. And, gotcha. like, had, like, fucking flippy hair. Um, but they, they treated me they treated me dirty in high school, which was cool because they would make me like rap in front at like football games. Like the seniors would like pull me down to the front of the bomb squad and shit and like be like, you got to rap for us. And I would like come with some shit and I would always kill it. So, so like in a good way or like, a, yeah, like yeah, an no, it was a, type way? Yeah, it was like it sucked when, when it was going on. But like hazing? It was like hazing. Like you need to rap but now. eventually like you, you earn your stripes and I'm happy they like push me to do that. Look at fuck you them now. All. Yeah, right? fuck them. But fuck like, those cats. Um, fuck yeah, yeah, fuck every one of them. Belly, like fuck all those yeah, cats. Yeah. When they see me at the bar, at the home, when I come home, it's like fuck you, dude. Right. But I'm uh <laughs> well, uh, and you got three kids and a fat wife. <laughs> eh, not yet. They will soon. But all right. I mean, how old are you? I'm 21. Oh, so you fresh out of high school? Like a couple years under your fresh belt, out of right? high school? No. Nah. No. Nah, fresh out of college. Okay, yeah. fresh out of college. Did yeah. you, where'd you go? You go to college? No beer, huh? You got denied. Shut Fucking down. Fucking youngin. They don't sell beer. They don't oh, sell beer. Okay. Right? Damn. I was misunderstood. Damn, we, we sent the homie to go get some beers first, and he came back with agua. It's Damn. all good though. That's all right. The thirst quencher. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. So but, we were just uh, talking about just old school memories and whatnot. Yeah, the grow up, you know. Yeah, but yeah, I'm 21 now. You said you go to you went to college or no? Yeah, I went to um, USC. Okay. That's why I was doing around here. That's why I was in LA. And that's it's, but so what? You're not in LA anymore. You're in New York. But what were you doing in LA? Producing for cats or? Um, well, going to school and producing and touring and shit. Dope. But that's where I met like my whole squad. Like they're all like music school kids. Okay, what music school did you go to? USC Thornton Music School. Oh, dope. Yeah, so dope. He, he actually still goes there. He a young Still a student. Shout out to USC. Saul, trying to get that, that, that degree, right? 
We'll see, man. What is it? Do you get like a diploma or like a certificate or some shit? How's that work? You get the diploma. I haven't gotten it yet. I don't think. I don't know if I'm going to. I mean, I got it technically, but I don't I know. I mean, what the mentally, you're like, I got this shit. I don't really need the certificate. <laughs> I don't even think about it anymore, man. I don't even need that shit. It's just yeah, stupid sure. as hell. Right? <laughs> I mean, shout outs to the college crowd and all. You don't get that education. Yeah, I mean, do you? If but... you get it, then fuck it, keep running. <laughs> exactly. Whatever to that. How long you been producing for? Um, that, like probably longer than rapping. Yeah, like okay. eight years, nine years. And then you started rapping how long ago? Uh, probably like five years, six years, uh, a little bit more. Got it. Around around the same time as producing. But... What do you produce with? Um, man, I started with MPC. Nice. And then I went to the MPD. And then shit got like nice with native instruments, and so they made shit easy. So I got uh, the machine. Okay, yeah, machines don't. And now I use machine and Logic and shit. He, what do you use? What about I'm you? I'm an Ableton guy. Ableton. Ableton. I kind of sensed that when Ableton. I saw it. This looks like an Ableton. It looks like an Ableton. <laughs> Ableton. Yeah, yeah, you already know. Yeah. That's the movement. What kind of music do you make? I uh, like same shit, hip hop beats, so. a little bit of like electronic instrumental shit as well. He okay. a jazz bassist yeah. though, so he has like crazy no like shit. jazz vibes in his shit. I'm all about the bass. Yeah, that sounds tight. So you crazy with the strings, huh? Yeah. Jazz bass, bass that's like, that's not see. like easy shit to do. <laughs> He's fire. I brought that's him on, I, I brought him on the past tour. Um, I felt bad. I had to like put him in the DJ spot because we already had my, my boy Trip Carter was playing bass. Okay. And, but he had to but go on a full, too. He But had if to you go got on. rhythm, you can DJ too. So I mean, oh, he, he DJ's fire. It's I, all like, in the same vein. Right. Yeah. But I took him from his main instrument, which I yeah, felt kind of bad. He's staring at the bass player like, fuck, <laughs> so, yeah, the show's up there right now. It's I deep. got these turntables. <laughs> yeah, bro. I get to get more lit during the show. Hey, that's, hey, that's true. true. So. I'm a DJ, man. I fuck with it. I know what you're talking about. You're like, I'm back here getting fucked up. That song. Exactly. What's some us? Uh, so you guys perform together since you're the DJ yeah. and you're the MC, right? Yeah, yeah. What's what's some of your guys' like best shows you've done together? <clears throat> shit, you got like one dope, super dope show where you're like, yo, that shit was fucking lit. It was recent. I fu- we did that festival. That was tight. That uh, that J- New Jersey show. We never played a show in New Jersey. We did New Jersey and it was yeah. sick. But we also played Summerfest, which is like seven thousand people or something. That was like our biggest, biggest one. Saw so killed it. Yeah. We're here um, in LA? No, Summerfest is Milwaukee. in Milwaukee. Uh, oh, I was thinking Hard Summerfest. It was like last weekend. Oh, yeah, not Hard Summer. The Milwaukee one is like 12 days long. Okay, shit. damn. Yeah. We only played one day, but. All you need is one day at these festivals, man. <laughs> <laughs> Seven yeah. days of that shit, I'd probably fall apart. I only yeah. needed my, my one set. I was like, I'm good. Really? I'm drunk. How many songs do you usually do in a set? <clears throat> um, I'll play for like an hour with, like, if it's my show. If I'm just like pulling up somewhere, just like a festival spot, it's usually like. 30 or 40, yeah. Okay. Play, like, a lot of colleges and shit, too. Favorite college to play at so far? They're all ruthless, man. I don't know. Um, college parties get loose, Yeah, too, they're man. fun as fuck. Um, I feel like a lot of music yeah. careers are built based off the college scene. And, like, yeah. a lot of these frat parties and some of these, like, kind of underground parties. And all of a sudden, these get these cult followings from these cats. It's good and bad, for sure. The, the, the frat shows are, like, definitely the funnest shit to pull up to. Like, if you just... If you're just with your people, like as their Squad. entertainers, and yeah. you're getting paid and shit, and you're and they're taking and, care and of you're turning, yeah, they're taking care of you, and, and they love you, and you're turning the shit up. It's like that's like that's the dream right there. Like, right, the, it's, what, what it's gonna get better side? than what's, that. What's but. the good and bad? I want to hear. What. Uh, you get you know college kids, man, it's yeah. dumb shit. They they the party first, yeah, and like, knocking shit to music over. Second. Yeah, they don't. Well, yeah, they don't give a fuck really about the show. Shows up. The, there's some of the girls be so <laughs> drunk and like. S- s- Saliva on you and shit. What are you like, doing? Shit, getting yeah. push her off the stage and get back. Yeah, <laughs> college fuck? kids are crazy. They're on drugs. They're oh on, man, they're I was on... at hard summer over the weekend. Let's talk about drugs. Shit, man. Yeah, yeah. And I was just drinking Coronas and shit, but I'm looking at these cats like these dudes are on levels. Yeah, right no, now. they're on drugs, bro. They're on some, like like fiend. I watched a dude trying to fight like six cops. He was flipping, <laughs> and, that was, and he was like shocking them too. All these getting the cops and, that, and never. They, I mean, they eventually got him, but dude was holding his own hard. for a quick second. Shouts out to that dude. I know, right? He's probably in jail right now. Like, what the fuck? I don't even remember what I did. PCP <laughs> gang. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun out there. That is. You got a song called Bag Season that just came out not too long ago, right? Yeah, that's with Trip. That's the dude who plays bass with me. Gotcha. And what's Bag Season all about? Um, We made that here in LA. Um, Produced by Sad Money. It's just about... Um, I actually heard the hook first. Trip was, was writing this hook and he didn't have any verses or nothing. And I was like, or he had like a, he had the melody, but I wrote like the top line. And um, it's about just like being young and trying to get it. You know, it's like, right. it's like, I love, I love that our generation is talking about 
money like in terms of bags and very like lightly and like casually and inspired about it like yeah. go and get your bag like like shit like that is like like duffel it's bag good it, it actually shit. is a good message like it's not yeah it's not saying like it's not all about money talk but it's, it's definitely good to like inspire others to go and and get off their ass and to like yo put some money in your pocket and like do some cool shit um, so that's kind of what it's about. Because I didn't know if it was like there was an actual bag season, like when cats were just hustling hella bags or something. Like, yo, it's bag season. Let's get this money. I mean, I get it. Like, yeah. ba- I get this money, but I didn't know if there was like, oh, yeah, yo, no, you, you 10 right. bags half off this week only. <laughs> yeah, no bags are for <laughs> yeah. sale here. But um, it's definitely about uh, like us in the bed. Like, we're about to get it, we feel like. Right. And that's kind of what the song is about. Like, right, we got some heat it. in the vault. So this Bag is, like, season right here. Philly, produced by Sad Money. Run up the cash car, already. Let's go. I need the bag already. Fuck up the raps till I'm zooming straight to the racks and the money. Run up the cash already. I need the bag already. Turn on the flash and illuminate the pack. And I'll be on one. Hey. Them bags is never close for comfort. Yeah, yeah. I need a bag, I need some commas. Shit, I can't pass up on another. Boy, don't be acting like my friends. Best in my life. Run up the bag already. Cash the vocabulary. The most see me working hard, they attract it to me. Don't gotta run for no action titties. The Lord knows how I get it. Freak goes in the tenant. I reload till I'm finished. Hey, where do we go? Baby, bend it backwards for me. I give it to her and she give it right back onto me. I need those say on my low days. Been working, man, there's no play. Run from my broke days. It's for the rest of y'all. Pippin' ain't easy, but it sure is fun. Can't fuck with a real one. Y'all my sons. And they see me dry sweat. They say, oh, we done. But back season has just begun. Motherfucker, go and get you some. Run up the cash already. Right. I need the bag already. Fuck up the raps till I'm zooming straight to the racks and the money. Run up the cash already. I need the bag already. Turn on the flash and illuminate the pack. And I'll be on one. Them bags is never close for comfort. I need a bag, I need some commas. Shit, I can't pass up on another. Boy, don't be acting like my friends. See me working hard, I'm still feeling like y'all. That I'm feeling all gone when the place go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But being in the morning, everybody want a little something, want a little somebody they show up. Fuck em. Yeah, yeah. Know that I'm gifted, know that shit scripted. Know that I used to be counting my digits on a couple of fingers. Shout out to Richard, had to spend some G's on the spot in LYZ where I can cook up all I need. Make some M's and rest in peace. Can a young and just run up the cash all the Hey, and we're back. It's the Kickback Show with your boy, the DJ TJ. We got special guest Spelly in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, already know. What it do? What it is. We what, it is. what it is. <laughs> so that was bag season. And you were just telling me you shot a video to that in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, we were at this Airbnb and uh, had okay. two shows in Hawaii. And we kind of, we invited some people. It was fun. Uh, so fans the, or, or friends? Both. Okay. Well, it, every, we don't know anyone in Hawaii. So it was pretty much all fan based. Gotcha. Um, and a lot of people ended up pulling up and we got a lot of footage, a lot of cool footage. Um the Airbnb people wanted to sue us for like the past three or yeah, four weeks. Yeah, I was going to say like, you when you said Airbnb, my yeah, first response was like, was like, like oh. Yeah, we didn't we didn't put that together. We thought like if you had the crib, like you could you could do what you want. It's your crib for a minute, you know, like yeah. within within. I mean, like, that's kind of what I figured. If you was like, hey, this is my spot, I rented yeah. it. Yeah, um, but Clean yeah, up. I guess it. I guess. They didn't feel that we had like a big party. It, it got pretty big at some point. How many people you bigger think were than there? like the video? Well, shit got crazier later, but like, I don't know. I can't even give that number out in case they want to come back or something. All right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. No, 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 no. Cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the the video honestly was chill and innocent. It was just us in Hawaii, like. Yo, pull up. We're here. Right. Like, let's have fun. We have some new shit. And uh, the whole band was there. And so we were just celebrating. So you perform as a whole band, too? Because um, you were talking about the stand-up bass, and then he's DJing. Yeah, we got, like, violins and shit. No. Um, <laughs> I feel a little Philly orchestra popping off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be tight. We're, it's, we're lit. Um, we do both. Like, we, it depends on the show and gotcha. the vibe. Um, next tour, I'll probably come out with, with, with just me and do, like, a, some more of, like, a personal type shit and just... Really turn them up. Um, 
But the band's cool because it adds like a whole music musicality level to it, and people really like fuck with like. It's real live music. Yeah. Like that shit. They want to see you performing. They want to get some substance. Yeah, out it's of not it just press like, and play. Yeah, exactly. Which is cool. It, it makes me do crazy shit too when I'm with the band. It's like whoa. What you, kind of crazy shit do you do? You just be going. You, you be screaming surfing? shit. You be freestyling shit. You be yelling shit that you're like, what was I yelling? What did I do? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you become a, a whole other beast because you see your homie like. And right? he's like, and you're like, and you're Word. vibing, so you're like, let's get it. Yeah, yeah you could put someone on the spot too. Like he'll put like the drummer on the spot, Jip sometimes. But a solo, be, yeah, like do some crazy shit, Jip. Yeah, and, like, he'll just have to go off, and vice versa. And those are always the what craziest moments. What about you? Saw so you any crazy like DJ solos? Oh, we freestyle, yeah, we freestyle. Yeah, sometimes we do freestyle on the shows. I don't really have like the scratching hands or anything. But you can, you can freestyle. Yeah, so, like, kick that beat, and then you guys are <laughs> so just gonna get. Forth. He's gonna learn the scratch by next tour. I oh think. yeah, it'll I come bet. naturally. If you I already bet. got the bass fingers, bro, it's just come. Yeah. Just get that cross fader, same shit. <laughs> yeah, That's what's up. It's Hell fun. Yeah. It's like a party on stage. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I fuck with parties. Heavy. Mm-hmm. You got any shows coming up? Um, I think I'm playing Oklahoma in a couple of weeks. I I never got to play Oklahoma, and I say in one of my bigger songs that we're coming to Oklahoma because at that point we did think we were going, but uh. Show got canceled. There's like an album release show. Yeah, this, the the tour of that tour got canceled. But yeah, this is gonna be like just a, a pop up in Oklahoma one, and then I'm playing my hometown in uh, not really my hometown, but where I grew up, Fairfield, Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, yeah, August 18. Okay. So that shit gonna be just for the album. It's gonna be like I'm flying the homies out, and they're all coming. So it's gonna be. You think the haters are gonna show up too? The haters, no, it's gonna sell out too quick, so they won't. <laughs> won't no be time like, for you know? the tickets. Sorry. <laughs> That's They'll see me up. after though. You think it's gonna sell out for sure, huh? Yeah. You got a big fan base back home? Um, yeah. Connecticut treats me right. They're cool. They're like, get it, Felly. Yeah. So well, you moved out to LA. They want the new shit. Um, did I move out to LA? I went I went out to for LA school. for school, yeah. And then so you just that's where your career kind of launched from there, I'm assuming. Yeah, I was doing my shit before, but then you meet the people who can help take you to the next level. Right. Who have like the the chops. So um yeah, that's where I met my gang. Who are some of the dope artists you've worked with? Worked with um, or your favorite? I should say who are your yeah. Your no, I've worked with I've worked with um, you know Ari Lennox. She just signed to Dreamville. Okay. I just got to see her at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn last week, opening for Cole, and Cole brought her out in front of like twenty thousand people, and I was like, damn, this girl was like on my last project, and I was like, it was just like crazy to see that yeah. happen. Um, we got Conscience on the new album. He's from Jamaica. He's a really dope Jamaican artist. I really love reggae and. Dance hall and stuff like that. Dope. Um, who else I work with? Gyps, my roommate. He's he's fire. Um, but other than that, you just asking people I'm inspired by or just dope people you worked with. You know, just throw some credit out. Yeah, there, you I, know? I work with Dot the Genius okay. on this past shit. That's the dude, the dude who did Cuddy's all Cuddy shit. Yeah, I work with Dre Moon who does. Uh, he does like T Pain shit. He does done. Uh, Drake shit, Beyonce shit. Were you just shit. in the strip club kicking it with T Pain recently? Yeah, yeah. What was that all about? T Pain's fam like? now, because uh, we're under similar management. Okay. And same same squad so in, you guys in are New York. It. Yeah, I've been kicking it with them lately. A you couple guys doing any music together? Or? Um, hopefully soon. Just gotta like vibe. Yeah, vibe a little bit more. I was listening to his new shit last night. Oh, his shit's Is it next level. Yeah, Is y'all it? gotta get him on this shit. He got some crazy. We might shit. do that. Um, but yeah, we were wilding out and. And at the strip club, shout out Johnny Shay, all them. Right. Yeah. So uh, you got a world premiere for us. It's coming from your next project, I believe. Wide Angle. Yeah, Zane Lowe actually premiered this this morning, and uh, this is the one with Conscience. And so uh, yeah, we got a video coming next week. Y'all feel it? Banger. All them so they're ready. Yo. Yeah, go ahead. Conscience. And she got that wide angle. Got it. She do what she want, yeah. she do what she want Shorty got wide angle, she do what she want yeah. From the night to the morning, from the break to the dawn yeah, yeah. Said all I got is gas all up in my bone It's like move too fast, don't you do me wrong Tell me where y'all at, tell me what to go Seize the day, hey, hey, hey. 
my lover we out here Felly. that's a banger thanks bro and you said you made that like a year ago yeah i made it a year ago with farsi and gyps um farsi's on drake's album gyps is my old roommate and we just i just sang that shit randomly yeah you killed it thank you and you're talking about you you like you like a lot of jamaican music and is that what kind of influenced that track yeah i mean yeah, definitely. I like reggae. I like like roots reggae, but we tried a little dance hall shit on that. Yeah, a little I dance could definitely hall. Can't do hurt it. nobody. Get a little versatile, you know. I see. I can see the ladies vibe into that one. I swear that rhythm is what gets girls on the dance floor. right Oh there. yeah, that's a hip rhythm. That's right? that is it's loose. That is a loosen it up rhythm, you know. Right. <laughs> that's what's up though. So, yeah, what's the title a, of your upcoming project? It's called Wild Strawberries. Wild Strawberries, and what influenced the title? This quote I saw, it says, um, we stopped cutting the lawn and wild strawberries started growing. And um, I wanted to do that whole quote, but I figure it's too fucking long. And so uh, we just went with wild strawberries. That's what's up. But yeah, the message kind of about just letting shit happen and, and letting things flow and be who you are, you know? Go with the flow. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's Kind of. Just don't force. Yeah, people. a lot of people force shit, including me. But that's me trying to like take a step back from... Forcing bullshit. You don't gotta be what you. It's like yeah. You find that to be pretty effective as an artist. It just like kind of just do you. I mean, I hear that a lot from a lot of different artists. They're like, what you know, else just, you gonna do? You know, I mean, right? Because there's a lot of work in you? Hollywood. You know, there's a lot of bullshit. So yeah, it's like, you know, I see cats that are killing it, but they're also kind of faking the funk too. Mm-hmm. Like we yeah. had a porn star on the show a couple of weeks ago, and she looks great on Instagram, but she came in here in person and it wasn't all that. Well, like, you, you, you no know, like, names. Hey, you got your <laughs> cameraman laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they know who I'm talking about too. Um, but you know how it is. It's Hollywood. Y'all, did y'all have a fight or something? No, nah, she just wasn't as hot as I thought she was going to be when she Oh, wasn't that? Life. You're talking, okay, I thought you were talking like mind. I thought you was like. Even that. Okay. So it was just like, wow. Like, I was like, wow. You're just like, this Damn. sucks. Well, the other one was killer. We had two porn stars. Yeah. One was killer. And the other I was going to say, yeah, because I've, I've seen some porn stars like kill it intellectually. Oh, and yeah. I, I love that. We, and the one who killed it was just featured in, in a music video we shot on Saturday for Young Gravy. Hell yeah. And she did her thing. She was doing her thing. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was Hell pretty yeah. tight. <laughs> Dream you gotta mode. get those names after. All fair. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. Yeah, but they're probably not gonna, well, you never know. I'll deal with it later, but it is <laughs> what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's good. You got a new album coming out. Yeah, dog. And um, any future artists that you would like to work with? I mean, who, who, would you, who do you picture yourself working with in the future? 
Um, Aside from this upcoming project, <clears throat> that you already looks like you got some cats on it with you. Yeah, uh, I really want to work with Anderson Pack. Okay. I think he musically is really dope. Yeah, he's or super his dope. band too. His band is fire. Um, who else? Hiatus Coyote. They're fucking crazy. Gotcha. I like just I like these cats who just be fucking things up musically. Like Moses Sumney. I don't know if you know him. Um, people who are just on some like interesting stuff. Um, King Cruel. Okay. Um, T Pain would be. T- I, I'm gonna work. I with see that soon. happening. I mean, you it's gonna. Already, it, it will. I heard yeah. if you go to the strip club with T Pain, you automatically. But his voice and shit, how <laughs> how he like paints. I like people who like paint with their melodies. Okay. Um, what do you mean by that? Like you know, like your sounds are colors essentially. Right. Um, and I, I've always, I've, I've always like I mix my own stuff, and I, I, I went, I go back and listen a lot, and I'll try to create different colors and shit and I got this one color that I call it it's like when I can create what a rose looks like yeah audibly yeah I, like I have like two or three parts in, in songs of mine that I've been successful at it and I've been like that shit that's like the that's rose. where you get the rose yeah got it Um, it's like different blends and it, you just hear it and it just sounds it sounds sweet like a rose would be yeah. do you have a song that, that has that rose effect or, or yeah, yeah. At the end, of, at the end of all I need, or not all I need. At the end of my song, I really need it. I don't think you have it. That's okay. Um, but at the end of my song, I really need it. There's like f- three, four auto tune vocal layers and how they all sit. I just, I love that shit. Yeah. Tight. Yeah. Is that off the new album? No, that's on the last one, Young Fellow P. That. Yeah. It's like just painting. You're, you when you're when you're doing vocal shit, you're you're painting it's the same as having an open canvas and throwing shit on it right you have an open record you have time yeah and then you do something with time and that's so what's up. yeah no, I, I know a lot of creative <clears throat> people kind of see it that same perspective whether you're doing video or audio you're kind of like painting a picture for someone whether they're listening to it or whether they're visualizing it yeah and it's dope that you as a producer and musician can see it that way so that you are like kind of like let me paint this so mm. you can get my message in a yeah. sense. I guess, I guess that's what you're what you're describing. Yeah, I think melodies are kind of more important to me these days because it's like a lot about feeling. Right. Um, I moved into my new apartment in uh, in like Little Italy area this a couple of months ago, and the girl had um, a sign that said "Rely less on words." And like I come in as like a artist and like a writer, and I'm writing a thousand over a thousand words a day on shit, and I kind of hated on it for so long. I was like, "Fuck this." Fuck this sign. Like, what does that mean? I'm like, words are everything. I was like, right. if you don't have word, what are you? But uh, I kind of I kind of chilled with that and, and started to, like, see why I was so against it. And then I, I was like, yeah, you should rely less on words. Like, it's it's feeling, you know? In that sense, you mean, like, talk more, show, talk less, show more? Um, Kind of. No, I kind of mean, like, in, in your actual songwriting and song gotcha. making. Like, yeah, the words are super important, but, like, you don't need to really get caught up on every single thing because, essentially, you're trying to capture a vibe and a moment and a feeling. And sometimes those those feelings and shit can't be, like, over-lyricized. Right. Yeah, yeah, if that's a word, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's just about, like, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So do you play any instruments? Because you're talking about solo yeah, playing yeah. and plays. What, what do you play? I play, uh, I'm getting better at guitar, but I play piano. <laughs> and I, I grew up producing, so you have to kind of be fire at keys. Right. So keys was what I first started with. Did you ever take piano lessons? As a uh, like here and there, but they didn't really stick. Same yeah. with guitar lessons here and there. I'm getting better now because the people I, I play with in my band, I just like ask them to teach me shit. Like, so do you play an instrument when you perform as well? Um, the present? I'm working on... I've done. I did a couple shows where I play guitar. Tight. Um, but I, that's like that's the way I want to go. Like that yeah. shit's timeless. Um, so I'm working on getting better at guitar. I can see it now. I'm like, yo, did you see the guitar sel- solo that Felly did last yeah, night? Yeah, I want to fucking melt. Right. Yeah. That's tight. I'm trying to melt. Just like people. you're putting the drummer and, and the DJ on mm-hmm. spot. Now it's like here's your time to shine as a musician. We did as it well. a couple times. Santa Cruz. The show was sold out, and Please I like know. just grabbed the guitar. I was like, let's try this shit. And we we jammed and like. I just started singing random shit, but it sounded pretty good, and I don't know. I think that's a way. Got it. That's one of the I ways. I want to see yeah. that. It's going to happen, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to catch one of your shows one of these days, and be like, Felly, man, where's the guitar solo at? Hey. That's what's yeah. up. So uh, you just sent me a track called Baby Boy. Yeah, what's that's kind of more in, in that guitar vein. Um, that, that was the first single we dropped off while Strawberries. Right. Um, Healy, he's like another artist. He's from um, Tennessee, right? I always mix up those. Memphis. Memphis, yeah. Um, 
he played guitar on it. My homie Yoji Money played the drums on it, and I played the keys on it. So okay. you kind of have all of us in a room there, and, and then I wrote this song to it. I'm never running, had a schedule, have some patience, bruh Gon' make me some, I promise it won't take too long Oh no, oh God, I'ma do it for the squad Get a million, put my dogs in a big house, oh boy Oh boy Oh God, I'ma do it for the squad This a million to my dogs, my dip out Crack a leg in my homeboys Woke up with no voice Stuck in that replay Caught in the turmoil So poised God damn it So poised I heard they following my way Look how the times changed It only took five tapes Don't look at me sideways Broke boys Yes, some am broke boys Hey, I'm riding the soul train Kick my feet up and swallow the pain no choice. No choice. No choice. Just tell me everything's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But don't kill me, go and bring me strength. I hope so. <laughs> no, 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 no. I never wanted to be y'all. That's not what I dreamed of. Surrounded by divas, but none of them feel love. Oh, slow down. My baby, slow down. My body's aching and my mind is already way gone, way gone. Oh God, I'ma do it for the squad, get a million, put my dogs in a big house, oh boy. Turn up, turn up, oh boy, that's for you. Yeah. Oh God, I'ma do it for the squad, get a million, put my dogs in a big Wild strawberries in this bitch, I already know. Broke boys. Fell. Felly. Fell. Felly with the Instagram. <laughs> Yeah. That's what's up. So that was uh, <laughs> Bad Boy off the Baby wild Boy, baby, or baby Boy. boy. Sorry, I wish the... it was Bad Boy. That's next. I felt like a bad boy after watching that Instagram post. Yeah, shit was foul. Um, but anyway, so Baby Boy off Wild Strawberries. That's dope. That's a vibe right there. Yeah, bro. We t- we tried to get a vibe going. One of those down low vibes. One of those like worn down from touring vibes. You tour a lot? Yeah, I did this past year and year and a half. Anything outside the U.S. yet? Um no Canada. We oh, we Canada. played we played some shows in Canada. That was sick. Um we have some offers for uh like what's that that one? Israel and fucking Europe and Damn. shit. Shout out Israel. Hey, get that um, Euro tour pop in. Yeah, we'll go on Euro tour soon. But yeah, a lot of lot of shows. It's very, very tiring, but Hey, get it while you can't. It's right? what I've always asked for. So how many projects are you sitting on right now? So you got Wild Strawberries, which is about to get released. How many uh like EPs and albums have you released? Um, Wild Strawberries, I'm calling my first, like, debut, okay. um, album, I don't know why, but I'm calling it that. <laughs> okay, no, feels that works. Right. It's a, it feels like a fresh start, you right. know? Um, but, uh, I probably have four or five, like, mixtape slash album things out, and, like, I don't know, a bunch of songs, like, probably over 80 songs. Damn, songs, yeah. putting in work. I mean, I've been doing it since freshman year of high school, so, That's like, what you were saying, you said you started off on an MPC. Yeah. That's what's up. That's real hip hop right there. Yes, yeah, real hip hop. Like I feel shit. like you you can't like in my my opinion, you can't really be a DJ unless you touch a turntable. We can't claim to be I don't know about you, so I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you use turntables? Uh, I use turntables. My man. Saul's so analog man. is fun. How else could you I, do it? There's other ways, trust <laughs> me. The play button, like we were talking about earlier. Um or uh like what I was saying is basically a turntable or uh, in your end, 
I lost it. I lost what I was saying. The NPC. Right. The NPC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hip hop background. <clears throat> so that it's kind of a pain in the ass to make music on the NPC because I've done it myself. That I shit know. sucked, bro. It's gotten so much easier, but with the ease comes the fuck boys, you know? Right. Um, because it's so easy that you could just Anybody anyone could there. do it. But like I I am happy that I had to, you know, get little initiation through the NPC. I couldn't even figure out how to save on that thing for uh, the first like four or five months you so left the NPC on like, so okay. when I I would leave it on well I would make sure that the I would finish the beat completely yeah and then record it out out the two XLRs into audacity right and then which whatever. is like for those who don't know is like the basic free recording software yeah, that, that you can get sucks online. it's sick um <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and then whatever was cut on that recording was the whole beat I would now turn off and then it was just like there Everything it is. is going, yeah. Send it. It was kind of a beautiful you know time. I actually experienced a lot of the same things myself. Producing music, like it was an MPC, and I had like three synthesizers MIDI to it, and then to, and I would do the exact same thing. Mm. I would have everything on for like a week. It's like well, I'm not done with the beat yet. I got to still add a few mm -hmm. more pieces, you know. And you just have to leave it on, and then just I would hit play, and then record all that whole sequence into Pro Tools at the time. For me, it was Pro Tools. Yeah. But same thing, one stereo track. I'm like, that's a wrap. Throw a limiter <laughs> that on equipment, it. That equipment, bro. Good. It was tough. It was tough on you. Well, props, though, man. Not a lot of people can say that they've come from an NPC background, you know. That's, Thanks, that's pretty man. Good. You still have your NPC? Um, no, I don't. I think I sold it. I was selling all my shit to get to the next shit. So, like, when I wanted the MPD or something, yeah. I would sell this. So you were using the MPD to like as a MIDI controller, right? Yeah, after after For, I was like, oh, I gotta get on software now. Fuck hardware. Right. And then I would do uh, MPD with Logic. Okay. And use the EXS twenty four sampler, yeah. all that shit. Yeah, the nerd, Tight. the nerd shit, you know. Right. And then you can save it. <laughs> and then you can, then you can save, save, bro. It's, it's amazing. That was me when I switched over to Ableton. It was the same thing. My buddy was like, he kept trying to get me on Ableton. This is like version four way back. You know, when like I was still on my NPC, I was like, look, dude, if you can show me how to save all my sounds as one preset and I can walk away from it and come back home and load Convince. up my computer. Finally, they released Drum Rack. And when Drum Rack got released on the Ableton, I was like, okay, it's a game changer. Here's the NPC now. I can do this. I can yep. import my samples yep. and still track it out and do all that shit. And I was like, I switched. Mm. But I still have my NPC. I had like the 2500 LE. I got, I got to keep it. The XL? Well, I, I started off with just the regular 2000, then the XL, then the MPC 2500, then That's the 2500 sick. LE. It looks like a garage, like an old musty garage. Pretty much. Smelled like one, too. Yeah. Old ass piece of metal. Hell yeah. So, you got Above Water, another track you sent me. Yeah, this one's going to go off really, really hard. Okay. Um, and what do you mean by that? <laughs> We just we've seen it go off and we played it for people and it's Good response. It's one of the coolest producers I've ever worked with. Shout out Dre Moon. Um we were with him last night and shit. It it's it's just really dope. We it's made with my boy Gyps who whenever we get together we, we create some heavy energy like trappy type shit. Got it. And so What does Gyps do? Gyps raps. Okay. Yeah. He too. he started off producing and he he started off as a drummer. He was Okay. He's a drummer. Right. For, he would correct you. First and foremost, a drummer. I <clears throat> did a little bit of producing. I met him freshman year. I was like, you make beats. And I, and then I was like, you sh like we made some beats and made some stuff together. I convinced him to try rapping. And he raps now. And he's dope. Was fun. this like based off of a freestyle session that you guys maybe had? And you're like, look, you can rap, bro. Or no, I, I, I was just doing it. Yeah, it was, pretty, it was pretty much that. I was like, dude, you you could do this. And yeah. then and I, he cuts one song and I get on it and then we like cuts another song and, and I'm it's like history. and I'm like making like and then he was like I'm gonna make an album and he does his own thing and now he's got two projects out and um yeah he he raps his ass off he's sick um so yeah this above is above water, water. Whoever you are, and no 
it sounds sweet, but just know it's slow talk. See me swear from my reap, but just know I'm straight Boston bitches. On the green like golf swinging, out of BK with some Boston bitches. Shit, every boy jotted down on my hit list, gone. You finna push me to the left now. And all it says is such a letdown. Feelings away, I took the ceiling away. Please get the fuck out my face. They only love when you're losing. Uncle S, take your blue cheese. Spin it, sell it, and recoup it. That's the moment from a hoopty. Elevate it from the boosters. Innovate a fella Gucci. I just threw away the loose thing. Uh. Used to do show for no profits. You couldn't count all the losses. Southern boy, killer phone. You're still buckets full of crawfish. You're still fucking my garage. I could provide the homies with an option. I could do television, action, Bronson. I could have hit a lick and got a thousand. I could have sold the drugs all around me. Did it all like my daddy sold you a flitch, you a pig. Go get a bag, keep your head above water. Spend a little cash, keep your head above water. <laughs> Go get a bag, keep your head above water. Spend a little cash, keep your head above water. <laughs> That's what's up. That's above water Felly off the featuring jizz. Featuring jizz on the Wild Strawberries gang, album. Gang. Yeah. That goes. You were talking yes. about that trappy vibe. That shit goes for real. Yeah. Jibs got off like the couch. He was like sleeping when we were like making the beat and rapping and stuff. And he just he belted that out. Yeah, we this like, shit woke me up. Hold on a second. I got shit. something for you. Yeah. That shit crazy. I like how that works. Were you guys roommates or just kicking it that time? Um... We were just kicking it that time, but we we were roommates in college, and so we would always I would invite him to like a session, and I would go to his sessions, and right, we'd do our own thing. So you guys really squatted up in college. It sounds like that's where you guys built the whole empire, pretty much. Yeah, that's that I found my whole my whole gang and my whole roots. Everyone I work with now is from there. No one was doing shit in Connecticut, really. Right. So for up and coming producer, is that something you would advise? Like. Fuck it, move to L.A., go to music school, and then try and do your network. Or, like, what, what would you recommend for someone, like, that's trying to move it, make it in the music industry? Yeah, no, I feel you. I, <clears throat> I like, hate to say that because everyone thinks they do, you go to L.A. and right. you're, like, you're good. Like, nah, it's not that. <clears throat> or you go to college and you, you get a job and make money. It's, like, it's never that. But the one thing I can say is, yeah, find, surround yourself with dope people who do shit that you want to do. And where is that? It could be anywhere, but... Yeah. A lot of musicians, it, it's at like a good school in fucking L.A. Right. Where they, they had to work their ass off to get there musically or else they wouldn't get in. That's what's pretty up. Pretty much. That's what's but up. Like, yeah. So they're all like they're all like certified a little bit to some extent. You got a shirt that says <clears throat> Palm Studios. What's that all about? That's his homie shirt. Um, I actually took this off Saul's back last night. Ooh, Jack did move. swap, yeah. Because so I, is, that, is that your shirt? <clears throat> That's my shirt, yeah. It's my homie's. What about like, the one you're brand. wearing? Oh, yeah, this one's... Uh, That's my homie's shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is his homie's shirt. My homie washed a pair Somewhat of a mutual homie. The dude who just FaceTimed me, Kyle. Shout out Kyle. Shout out Laven Kali yeah, as well. Yeah, Laven made this shirt. Kyle made that shirt. Is Palm Studios a place? <clears throat> it's more of like a brand. It's a vibe. Gotcha. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. <laughs> I like it. I like the fucking shirt, dog. This shirt's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that it's is It's got hard. the reflective shit, It's got too. the, uh, like, the uh, vote for Pedro... Yeah. Appeal to it with the, you know, Definitely. anything oh, studios dope to me. Yeah. Shit fresh. 
You got so, any favorite fashion brands? Um, I like the stuff my friends make right. and the the stuff that I make and stuff. Um, oh, so like, you, like so the, you do fashion too? Yeah, I like to. I mean, I make make my merch, and then I'm I'm plotting on a line that is gonna come soon when okay. I'm ready. Um, but yeah, I, I like I don't like to like I I wouldn't rock like Gucci or some like. You don't come off shit. as the Gucci type. Yeah, not really. No, no offense, I mean, no, no, I feel it all, but it's cool. It's dope. Um, if I ever catch you on stage with a Gucci backpack two years from now, I'm like, bro, remember yeah, the yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Another rapper on stage with a Gucci backpack. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like, I don't know. Artists, artists make things. They shouldn't, they shouldn't buy things. Right. And you, you should like, I don't know. I like that shit. So no, like, I 100 percent agree with you, man. I'm the same way. I get clothes from my friends who make clothes usually. That's what's up. You seem like a pretty creative person. You're taking control of a lot of the things you're working on. As well as like creatively, I mean, are you directing your music videos too, or how does that work? Um, I play some role in music videos. Yeah, I mean, you're there. You're not, you're you're kind of like in charge of what's about to go down. So everything is kind of directed. But I definitely say I'm a bit like over hands on in my stuff. Um, <laughs> I have like a over hands on. Yeah, like I I want yeah to run my ship. You know, are you in the middle of any record deals or anything right now? Or are you signed to a label? Um, I was about to sign, and then um, but <laughs> I and then honestly, the Jay Z album came out, and he was like, "Y'all still taking advances, huh?" Yeah, I heard. And that. And I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, coming home from LA, and we were about to sign. We were looking at the deal. It was like cool and shit. And, and the then I was like, no, in. I was like, wait, 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 we got to do this indie boss shit that everybody has always raised me on. I'm like, what are we right. thinking? Why are we about to go sign a deal? I was like, I have money. I could, I could, I can advance myself. I don't need to take your shit and then right. give you my music right. forever. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's all love with everyone involved, mm -hmm. but, um, I want to control my stuff. Um, so you, you're pretty much saying you're going to go independent on this. I mean, no, I, I, I have all these dope people around me and, right. and cinematic from um, cinematic music group is is in L.A. Right. Or not in L.A., fucking New York. Okay. In Brooklyn. That's why I'm moving to Brooklyn. That's kind of like my new family. So gotcha. that's Johnny Shipes is m my manager now. Okay. Um, with Wolf. That's Wolf over there. Well, um, Wolf. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm working closely with him and. And that team and stuff, but um, from like an on paper perspective, I definitely want to do this shit my myself in my way. Tight. And you know, all the legends tell you to do that. I mean, it's that's that's so true. why, We've why all would heard we? It a million times. Still taking advances, huh? No, no that, that shit stuck with you, didn't it? It did, bro. The whole album. I mean, that that album's so sick. It's just like take control of your shit. You, if you if you built this shit yourself, you can continue to build it right. yourself. And I see a lot of artists doing that now, and I, I, I love that. I respect that. Because it's like you're pretty much taking 100% of your own proceeds, you're putting your heart into it, and now you can get it back. You yeah. Because you're invested. You're invested your time, your heart, sweat, whatever, anything that goes into your project. And nowadays, people don't understand the, how the label system works. So to see more and more artists preaching, like you were talking about, going independent, taking control of your own music, your own creative control of all that stuff, that's dope. Yeah. I think it's inspirational too for a lot of artists who are trying to come up and just don't know which route to take. Because I feel like a lot of people just jump to the record deal. I'm like, all right, I made it. Well, some people have to. I mean, I, I luckily had a a few years of like building up my stuff on my own and touring and and you know building myself up. So I didn't. I I had kind of label things around me. Right. But some people don't have shit and they don't have money and they they need and that could really help them. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. A label isn't. They're not all evil. That's right. Yeah. Not all of them. You ever gonna start a label? Yeah, bro. I'm we're in the midst of of it. Um, two two seven three is is like what we originally started. Me, Jake, Jake Stanley, like started it, and okay. uh, it was that's based on our dorm room numbers. So me and Gyps were like, and we're still we still are pretty much the only artists on it. But we're looking to expand that and grow that into something big. And so um, these other like smaller labels that we've seen. It's kind of a cool perspective to 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 be able to see all these other people and see what we want to do with our label and shit. Right. But that's definitely coming. Like we're gonna build up. Do you our, have a name? Are you two two seven three records? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So what um, about artists? You got any artists you already plan on signing for that? Or yeah, we definitely them? have people we'd be looking at and just pretty much. There's like definitely like a lot of people involved on two two seven three that aren't like. Like Saw would call himself two two seven three. Trip would call himself two two seven three. Like got it. the people in the band like. 
It's over like it's 10, 15 people. It's, it's your gang, but yeah, we don't it's like have ASAP, any. ASAP, but 2273. Yeah. And Represent. so that's just like the LA kids that we started cooking up with. And uh, it's just, it, it's growing. And we're, we're young as hell. So I'm looking forward to seeing more from 2273. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Before we close out this show, um, I want you to plug the uh, the listeners where they can find you, <laughs> listen to your music, download your tunes, check out your YouTube. What's your socials? Yeah, man. You could find me um, if you Google Felly. F E L L Y and I'm Felly on Instagram and Felly the Kid on Twitter. Word. Hit me up. What about Let's you, Saul? You can hit me at Saul was S O L W A S on Instagram. I don't really fuck with anything else besides that. Yeah, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. We got one last, <laughs> we got one last song. This is uh Die Before You Do. Yeah, sad joint. Sad joint. New joint. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on the show tonight, guys. Felly, it's a pleasure. Salt. Pleasure, bro. Keep killing it, Thank you guys. Thank you, bro. We Appreciate out here. This is the Kickback Show. Hollywood, fantasy. California, Dash Radio. Whoop. Why I got live, I'm just trying to chill Stack a few L's, build a few L's Cause at my expense, they build a new jail Motherfucker, say something K-Man on the line, K-Man on the line K-Man stuck in 2017 Amen to the sense, see all I need Woke up, I possess a part of me Touching, lusting, busting, part to see part of me still crushed, it's hard to believe Just made me want to switch to R&B Get dick, make it hard to leave Before you do Nah, I could never do you Without you Ain't got a lot that got me worried I hope I die before you do I hope I die before you do Don't wanna be caught up Stuck singing blues All alone in my room Sitting beneath the moon So I got one thing to say to hey, you baby. For you, for you she better, she know it I cut like four quarter and come like a poet The sweetest of colors get lost in the motion But just for a minute, then back to my bullshit I sleep with an angel, it's good for my omens How many I cut up, it's more than I told you I thought this would feel more heroic But lately I can't shake the loneliness Call up my homies and smoke that shit Wanna pen a mirror with the white mirror When you right here with my white hair Through the thick, through the, through the rain, through the night air Is this love or a nightmare? When we fight, we don't fight fair Keep your guard up and your car suck Run a good block, but it's fun the way I was brought up no. Tell these hoes that it's all love, but who gon' be I there when I fall off? Before you do, she better, she know it. Nah, I could never do you.